So I figured I'd do this again here. Uh, got a people a little bit confused on the last video. So I thought, well, I'll shoot this up again and, and see if I can get this a little more uh, conveyed and get it conveyed a little bit easier. So got in this thing the other day and I was driving it and I was getting a lot of stink, a lot of smell. So, and a lot of people think, well, the exhaust smell is because it's rich and let's talk about this again uh, so that we can get this a little more clear uh, carbon monoxide is poisonous gas that comes from your car if you look at your house you have those carbon monoxide detectors the reason you have a carbon monoxide detector is because it's an odorless killer right so Rich causes carbon monoxide to come out of your tailpipe. You can't smell rich. And I got guys saying, oh, you can smell unburned fuel. I mean, if you're to that point where you've got black smoke coming out of the back of your car, it's pretty obvious that you're rich. So we're talking about finer measurements here. So if your car is stinking really bad, uh, typically that is because of a misfire um, that means you're smelling hydrocarbons hydrocarbons uh, if you have a very lean running engine the hydrocarbons will emit a smell that is unremarkable you, you, it just stinks really bad and it gets on your feels like it's in your clothing and everything else um, and typically that's from lean now other things that can cause high hydrocarbons or if you have a really excessively large cam and your valve overlap causes hydrocarbons and will make you think maybe that you're too lean so you start riching it up more and then you're blowing black smoke and you're going what the hell then you bring it back and it doesn't seem to get right so you're not able to really use this method um, this is kind of your backyard method to adjusting your carburetor jetting so I was driving this thing I had a 120 main jet in it. We've checked it out, um, which I thought we thought was large enough for the 36 horse motor. Because again, the 36 horse motor has very low compression, and um, it, it, it doesn't require a very large as, much, as large a main jet as your 1600. 1600 is going to be 130, 135, somewhere in there. Um, and so I went ahead and we went ahead and upped it to a 125 which might be just a hair on the fat side because I'm getting, I have now no smell. The exhaust smells clean, but I can feel that richness. I, I step on the gas. It's a little bit choky. It's getting a little bit too much gas. Probably a 122 and a half would be a better jet for this car. Um, and so, so, but I would rather have it be on the rich side than on the lean side. So if you're a little bit too rich, rich does not burn up your motor. Lean burns up your motor. Um, you know, rich will give you, you know, fouling spark plugs and stuff like that. So if you get to the point where you're, you're not smelling your exhaust and you're, you're not smelling that hydrocarbons and you've got a stock cam, you got a stock engine and, um, and, 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 and you know, you can, you can try things like backing off the main jet, going to a little bit leaner one till you start smelling that exhaust, bring it back up a little bit until there's no exhaust smell. You know, you don't really smell it. It's, you know, it's still stinky a little bit because it's a VW, but it's not that real prominent hydrocarbon smell. If you've, if you've been behind something that's, you know, running with high hydrocarbons, you only need to smell it once. You'll know right, right what you're smelling. Uh, take a, you know, put a vacuum leak on your engine and run it for a few minutes. You'll smell the hydrocarbons. They just stink to high heaven. So this is the way to do it. Now, a lot of guys, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, hopefully if you're listening and you say, oh man, you can smell unburned fuel. You can smell rich. You know, um, I'm just letting you guys know you cannot smell it. I, I learned this stuff. I was an ASC certified master auto technician. I passed all the tests the first time without studying, and I did this years ago. Now I don't do this stuff anymore, okay? And I learned this from all the schools, all the guys, all the hot rod guys. They all taught me some of these things. 
to how to figure out your backyard method of jetting. Now, usually, like I said, I went probably a little bit too far, so I notice when I stomp on the gas, it gets a little choke, maybe every once in a while a little pop, that's telling me it's getting a little bit too much fuel, and it's a little fat sounding. So the difference between rich sounding engine and a lean sounding engine, again, is a lean sounding engine sounds a little bit tinny. A, fat, a rich sounding engine sounds a little bit, um, I, I'm trying to think of what, what you would say. And the rich sounds a little bit kind of like, um, it, it, it just sounds, I don't know, it has a, a different sound. It's not tinny, it sounds kind of splatty, I guess. And so if you get to know the sound of the engine, then you can find that, that the, 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 you know, the, to a safe point, to, you're jetting to a safe point. Now the best way, of course, to do your jetting on your engine is to use an exhaust analyzer. So. Uh, when you use an exhaust analyzer, then you can actually check and see what your actual CO is um, and, and, and your hydrocarbons. So the hydrocarbons and the CO should go up together. Um, if you've got it too lean, your hydrocarbons go up a lot faster as you rev the engine up than your CO does. If it's too rich, your CO goes up a lot higher and your hydrocarbons drop off to a certain extent until you get to that point where it's actually so heavy that it's in a misfire situation. So that's a little bit about how to do your backyard jetting on your carb. Um, that might help you guys who are at, you know, who don't really have anybody to help you out um, and to just learn it. You know, it just takes years of experience to learn this stuff and uh, maybe that will work good for you. Talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.